What we got here is a 2007 Honda CRV. And clearly, it's been in an accident. Surprisingly, airbags didn't go off. I guess just missed the sensor. I noticed that the headlight is wobbly. So the headlight bracket's broken. Grill. This is called the filler piece. And then there's this other color piece, uh, rebar, at rad, rad fan, AC condenser. Ooh, this little rat support's pretty banged up. Yeah, this is gonna need a fair bit of work. Let's see how we're gonna fix this guy. So we've taken most of, a lot of the stuff off. The bumper, the headlights, the rebar, the grill. So it has exposed our condenser, our radiator, and we know those are damaged. Let's see, the rad fan's damaged. Um, this lower rad support is out of place. We're gonna try to straighten that back up. So we got a whole bunch of new parts here. We got the rad, the condenser, grill, headlight, bumpers, and the rebar. So let's take the rebar and see how that fits. So it's not too bad, it kind of fits. There's a rod. Fans all broken. This side's broken too. So our lower rat support here is obviously a little mangled. So what we're gonna try to do is uh, try to straighten this. We're gonna try to hammer and pull and try to get this all straightened out. We got our hammer and dolly set here. So it's got a assortment of body hammers and dollies to help with this uh, straightening process. Alright, so we got our condenser and our rod. Let's open these guys up. This is our brand new condenser. So that's supposed to fit into these holes here, which we know won't fit. Much effort here. Yep, this is so soft it just comes right along. Let's see if that helps. It's actually a little straighter now. It's pretty straight actually. This might need to come, I don't know, you still need to come a little bit more. But it is pretty straight, much better than before. So what we've done now is supported the rat support. That way we can kind of hammer all these wrinkled spots back out. How's that looking now? Not too bad compared to 10 minutes ago. What do you guys think? I think that's looking pretty good. 
So we're gonna size up the the rod and the condenser and see how we look now. Oh, he drops right in. So the rod sits in place. Rats, it's in place. The brackets line up. Bolt holes line up. And our bolt holes line up. And the spacing is pretty good. All right, let's try our condenser now. There's this way. There's one hole here. And the one hole here. Our condenser is in. We've successfully aligned the uh, lower rod support to support this. So we're gonna try to do a dry fit and uh, bolt everything down, but uh, it's looking pretty good right now. Decently good at least. So the gaps on the, the hood, the fender, Right this side again. Caps on the hood, the headlight. Yeah, it's coming together pretty good. Next, we just have to get our bumper on and compare. So well, there's our bumper. I'm not gonna bother snapping it in place, but it should be pretty good. What we actually need now is another grill and the lower grill, which we didn't order. So we're gonna have to order that before we really continue much further. I think uh, it's looking pretty good right now. So that's it for today. It is New Year's Eve, seven o'clock. I'm gonna get packed up and head on home. Okay, we got a couple things to do here. We need to weld this tab. This tab broke. So we're gonna weld that back as well as the nut back here. Those two have separated. So we're gonna weld those their trusty Lincoln welder. All right, so we got our tabs welded, both front and back here. That's really ugly, but we got a tab welded. We can bolt everything back down. So there's the old one and the new one. All our bulbs are transferred over. Be sure when you're changing over the radiator that you don't forget this sensor. This is the coolant uh, fan switch, I believe. So it's 17. All right. Okay, the rad sensor, it's a 17 mil. tight as well so always double check that these lines are actually tight we got our new fans condenser and cooling fan oh, let's open these guys up Ta-da! look at that brand new
while we're in here, we have to install our lower rat hoses and our two transmission lines. So let's take a look. Let's do this quickly. Okay. Oh. There's our, whoa. Okay, we got our transmission lines hooked up. I couldn't video it because it's really bad angle and really messy. So now we're gonna do our uh, little rat hose. <clears throat> oh, there it is down there. It should just clip in place, really. Oh, that's it, it just clips in place. Let's put this back in place and get our upper rat hose installed. Upper rat hose is in. Now we gotta plug in these connections. This one connector here, this one connector here. Okay, that's clipped in. That's clipped in. Here's our next one. Last but not least, let's not forget this lower one for our fan here, fan switch. Where is our switch? Oh, it's right there. Right there. All right, well, let's clip. Check out our fitment. Look at that gap. And look at that gap. I think we're pretty good on this. So we ran into an issue with parts. We forgot to order this piece, which is the grill. But this piece has a whole bunch of chrome pieces in the middle. So we have to order that. We're still missing the, the corner chrome pieces. This bill is adding up quick. Jeez. All right, that's our grill. Don't forget, new rad we need to put in coolant. So, we got this cool little tool. It's a funnel with a rad cap adapter. So, here, funnel's got a plug to get in. Let's fill up our coolant. Mm. Oh, we got a problem. Oh, we got a leak here. Oh, wow. Better check that lower rat hose, make sure it's not cracked. So we got more problems. This neck is cracked. Oh boy. So I gotta order a new neck. I should put here and try to wiggle this off. So here's our two parts. The bad one with the crack in it. And here's our new one. Okay. We are clipped back in. It is replaced. We got the bumper back from the body shop. It's all painted now. Looks pretty good. Uh, one problem is the grill. The grill is different. This car has multiple grills. So, what a headache. All right, we got our final piece to the puzzle. We were missing the grill. The grill that we got was actually a uh, wrong model. And this is the original emblem. So the other day we ordered this grill, but it came in blue instead of maroon. And now this one comes maroon, but without the emblem. So we'll have to put the old emblem back on old uh, chrome piece back on. So let's get this back together.
We got our grill back together. Well, that's the new one there. All right, so we got our grill back in place. Gotta clip it back in place and 